have been presenting a case of fracture depressed fracture calcaneus managed by minimal access elevation and bone grafting procedure so here is an example of percutaneous treatment and all of us are well versed with this mechanism of injury if you look at this image how a tongue fracture happens and how the central depression happens so this was the patient tongue type uh, depression as you can see the posterior facet grossly depressed this was young patient good bone stock and this is another patient where there is a central depression uh, many times the sex leprosy which was classically described as a stenment in elevation of the depressed fragment of the tongue depression and then putting the stenment pin but i found very nasty results of skin conditions happening with this uh, sx leprosy but essentially in 80s and 70s that was the mode of elevation and that was the only thing available at that point of time nothing else available so possibly that was okay but we had very bad results in certain skin conditions where they had bad result and this stenment pin was then said to be incorporated into the plaster and the whole thing was incorporation of pin so that there is no repeat depression so this didn't, was not found effective however the essence of sx leprosy was elevation of the fragment so i do it uh, as the same way lateral position minimal excess from the lateral side of tendon achilles i take a 5 mm stenment pin this you can see a 5 mm stenment pin and you have to really go exactly below the depressed posterior facet and elevate it almost 5 or 6 mm pin also tries to bend so much force is required and some assistant or um, you have to just distract the heel create a room what i found was there is a significant amount of depression and void created below the depressed fragment though it is said that quite often the even if you do a good plate fixation bone grafting is not needed but what i found in minimally access and just percutaneous fixations this used to depress again a bit so i tried doing some amount of bone graft which are retrieved from the tibial condyle in the same spinal anesthesia from the same leg and we take these bone grafts cancellous into short sleevers which are held in the artery forceps and this is put through into the same hole the hole of 5 or 6 mm tendon pin created goes exactly into that hole and bridge where this gap is there and then you fill up that graft with either sleeve or directly with the artery forceps with a very small punch driving that area this is the amount of graft just taken up in this void and then i fix it up with couple of kvs from various directions as is needed in the ap and axial plane so that all the uh, parameters are fixed well so this was the same patient where we have restored the bolus angle kvs into multi axial multi directional kvs so that they hold the fragments very well after reduction and then we cut bend and bury the kvs beneath the skin so that there is no skin healing problem this you can see so these are the four kvs and now they have to be essentially turned the other way so that they get buried inside the skin so that there is no skin irritation at all and then the skin is closed and that patient healed many of these tongue shaped fractures tongue depressions if we elevate them well put four kvs go right across and one kvs from this lateral side to the sustentaculum that holds the uh, elevation very well and gives a effective reduction so this the simpler ones are very easy just a couple of kvs i have also seen uh, cases where even screws also hold this fragment very well occasionally we may use from a lateral side a screw as a push screw to hold the facet depression and this is the result after a couple of years when the patient comes back for some other follow up they do really well with percutaneous technique so this is this is the depression pin elevating that depressed fragment the posterior facet getting it into position and the advantage i found with this technique was there is no collapse during the healing process that elevation stays well however this may not be required in all the cases if you get the right uh, elevation and enough bone stock then that might not be required i'll do only in certain amount of this patient and this this type of tongue depressions are really nicely amenable for percutaneous elevation and the patient almost gets restoration of all the anatomical factors however at the end if i ask all my patients of fracture calcaneus this is what everyone would say sab thoda dukhta hai hamesha soochta hai but 
the difference in operated patient and non operated patient what i found is jo har kadam pe dukhta hai bina operation wale ka that only zyada chalne pe dukhta hai this is what the constant observation i find so i at the beginning itself in a counseling i would say and this all calcaneus fracture would have at least two or three counseling sessions that it is going to be painful it is going to swell up whole day you will be working at the end 5 6 pm you will get enough swelling lymphatic edema you have to again reduce it for couple of years together and in the future may need a subtalar orthopedic so this is what i have to present in this case mm-hmm.